on Saturday the 16th of September here at the studio we're running Fit Games. Fitness Games is a partner based fitness challenge so you and a friend take on three zones Strong, Pulse and Metcon. In this video we're going to run through all the technique standards and what you and your partner can expect from Fit Games for each of the three zones. Zone 1, Strong. You and your partner will have 15 minutes to achieve a one rep maximum for a deadlift. You can change your weights and build up to your maximum effort over the time. But both participants will have their top lift recorded at the end of 15 minutes. Work as a team to discuss strategies to maximizing your lifts, changing the weight on the bar as well as motivating each other to record your best lift. Technique standard. Each participant during their lift must deadlift the bar from the floor using a standard stance and fully extend knees and hips. Participant must be fully upright for the rep to count. The maximum effort achieved by each partner will be added together, with the team scoring points the more they have collectively lifted. After Zone 1, you will have a 15-minute recovery period. Zone 2, Pulse. You and your partner will have 15 minutes to complete three sections. A 1,000-meter row, a 1,000-meter ski, and finally a 1,500-meter row. The objective is to complete the distances as quickly as possible. You can set the ski or rower damper to any setting, however once set it should not be adjusted. Technique standard, during the pulse challenge you can swap over with your partner at any point and as many times as you like. When swapping with your partner on the rower, the handles must be placed back onto the holder. When swapping on the ski, you can pass the handles directly to your partner. When transitioning from the rower to ski, the partner must have fully completed the rowing distance and have placed the handle back onto the holder before their partner, who can stand ready, starts on the ski. When transitioning from the ski to the rower, the partner must have fully completed the distance and placed the handles back before their partner on the rower can pick up the handles. The faster the team completes the three distances the more points they will score. If you do not complete the distances before the end of the 15 minute cutoff, your total distance will be recorded, with teams scoring more points for greater distances being achieved. After Zone 2, you will have a 15 minute recovery period. Zone 3, Metcon. Zone 3 consists of four exercises with specific weights, distances, and repetitions required. Completing all four exercises will complete one whole set. The objective is for the team to complete the sets within 15 minutes. Exercise 1, Sandbag Carry. Each team will carry a sandbag at front of their body a total of 8 times over a distance of 16 meters with each partner completing for carries each. Females will carry 20 kilograms and males will carry 30 kilograms. After each carry the sandbag should be placed on the floor before their partner picks up their weight. Each partner must fully go around the marker for a repetition to count. Once 8 carries have been completed, the team will move on to exercise 2. Exercise 2, Box Step Over. Each team must complete 20 box step overs with member partner completing 10 step overs each. Both feet must make contact on the box at the same time and both feet must touch the floor for a repetition to count. No hands are allowed to touch the box. Once 20 repetitions have been completed the team will move on to exercise 3. Exercise 3, Burpee. Each team will complete 30 standard burpees with each team member completing 15 each. To complete a burpee, the participant must fully lower their hips and chest to the floor before completely standing up with knees and hips fully extended. Once 30 repetitions have been completed, the team will move on to exercise 4. Exercise 4, Dumbbell Snatch. Each team will complete 40 repetitions with each participant completing 20 repetitions each. Females will snatch 10 kilograms dumbbell and males snatch 20 kilograms. 
Each participant must move the dumbbell from the floor to a fully extended overhead position. The dumbbell must fully touch the floor before the next repetition. Once 40 repetitions have been completed the team will have completed their first set. The quicker a team completes four sets the more points they will score. Should a team not fully complete the four sets within the 15 minute cutoff, the, the amount of sets and repetitions they have achieved will be recorded. The teams with the most amount of sets and repetitions will score more points. If you have any questions or queries, don't hesitate to get in contact today. Ready for fit games? Grab your partner, get booked in and let's go!